Today we're speaking with Avion President Mark Ratliff on all things Stop Off Paints. For anyone carburizing or nitriding out there, you won't want to miss it. Avion is sponsoring this episode, so more on them at the break. Now, let's join Mark and our Heat Treat Radio host, Doug Glenn. Welcome everyone to another episode of Heat Treat Radio. Really have the great honor today of talking with Mark Ratliff from Avion Manufacturing. And uh, we are gonna, we're going to do uh, a, a painting class, kind of. Not really. I mean, industrial paint. Anyhow, we're going to talk about that, some stop-off paints and things of that sort. Uh, so looking looking forward to it. So Mark has, the, has been working at Avion over in Medina, Ohio, correct? Yes. Uh, they haven't been in Medina since 1994, but Mark has been with Avion since 1994. Uh, graduated with a bachelor's of science, uh, a bachelor's of science degree in chemical engineering from the University of Cincinnati. And uh, prior to that, I I did not know this about you, Mark. I did not know that you worked at Shore Metal Metal Treating with your with your father, huh? That's correct. Yeah, that's correct. How how long was he there? Uh, well, he uh, he started the company, and so I was working there. Uh, I mean, I was loading baskets of parts since I was about eight years old, and he would pay me five dollars a basket, uh, you know, under the table, and that was a lot of money back then. So. Uh, I got two baskets filled of these parts. So uh, I was I was really rich at the time. So <laughs> that's pretty cool. That's yeah. pretty cool. Yeah, it's it is very interesting to see the people's backgrounds and how they got involved in the industry. A lot of a lot of people got start young. You know, you uh, you may you may win the record though. Eight years old <laughs> with the uh, the uh, labor board may be calling. You know about your right, child exactly. labor. Yeah. <laughs> so, but anyhow, let's let's uh, talk today. Technically, we want to talk about something that not everybody may know about, uh, but I think you and your company are kind of experts on these things, and that's stop-off paints. So just from a 30,000-foot a, a view, and you don't have to go into a lot of detail here, Mark, but 30,000-foot view, what are stop-off paints and why do we use them? Okay, stop-off paints are uh, protective barrier-type coatings. So what they do is they, they prevent either carburization or, uh, the, or the nitriding process from entering into the steel. Um, and they were created probably well over 50 years ago as a replacement for copper plating of these parts. So in, in the past, a long time ago, they would copper plate the, the, the part that they did not want uh, carburized or nitrided. Uh, and that you know that's a time uh, time consuming process as well as it's being very expensive. So it, um, the stop off coatings were developed as an economical alternative to copper plating. So when they say when you say copper plating, because I'm 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 kind of curious about this. Does that mean it was it a was it like actual copper thin sheets of copper metal? That's correct. Yes. Okay. So you actually had to wrap apart whatever part whatever you did not want nitrided or carburized. You had to wrap it in this copper, and then that would keep it from nitriding. Or that's correct. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Very good. So, and just in case people don't know, I would imagine most people that are listening to this do know do know this, but nitriding and carburizing are both surface hardening technologies, that where is either nitrogen mm -hmm. in the case of nitriding or carbon in the case of carburizing, are infused into the surface. And that, of course, gives improved wear properties, typically corrosion properties to those areas that that receive the that receive the uh, uh, infusion of the metal. So why do people why do people not want n the nitrogen or the carbon to be infused to certain parts of the part? OK, so when you harden a part via carburization or nitriding, uh, a lot of times hardness equates to brittleness. Uh, so you, you may induce certain stress stress in, in various parts and various areas. And also, if you wanted to do a post heat treatment uh, machining on the part, uh, that would be virtually impossible if the part was carburized or nitrided. Because if you think about it, the surface is so hard that the tool can't cut through it to do uh, uh, further machining on the part. So can you give a couple examples of like uh, parts and and where on those parts, if you can do a description, where on those parts you might apply a stop off coating? Well, a lot of times we're, we're uh, the, the end user, the customer is, is painting uh, like an end of a shaft where he'll he'll. He'll um he'll heat treat the shaft, make the shaft harder, but he wants to spin a thread on the end of that shaft. 
So that's a that's a prime example of why you would use a a, a, a stop off coating. Uh, a lot of times the parts are made with the threads already on, but you don't want those threads to be hardened because again, hardness equals brittleness, and those threads would would uh, would crack off after heat treatment. So that's that would be an area where you would apply a stop off coating. Okay. Okay. Yep. Makes good sense. So tell us a little bit about the, about the actual physical properties, if you will, of these stop off coatings. I mean, we also call them what stop off paints. So Correct. I'm assuming a lot of times these are just painted on. It's a liquid format. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah. They're all supplied in liquid form uh, with the viscosity ranging right around 3,500 to 8,500 centipoise. Uh for the carburizing stop offs, we have two different kinds. Uh, we have what's called, and this is this is not new in the, in the industry. Most people know the formulations of the stop offs. So we have the boric acid based stop offs, and that's uh, we have two uh, two different kinds of that. We have a water borne and we have a solvent borne. And the idea behind the boric acid based stop offs is as the bor as the boric acid thermally decomposes, it, it creates a boron oxide glass. And this glass is actually the diffusion barrier of the carbon. So, and what's nice about the boric acid-based stop-offs are that they're water washable after the heat treatment process. So they do the coating and the residue after the heat treatment gets washed off. Um, another type of stop-off coating that we have is based on the uh, uh, silicate chemistry. And the silicate chemistry is basically like putting on a glass on the part. So it's more of a ceramic-based coating works very, very well, but the drawback to the silicate-based stop-offs is that you have to um, bead blast the parts after heat treatment. It does not wash off in water. When I think of paint and putting something on a paint, putting painting something on and then putting it into a furnace, the first thing I think of is, well, that paint is gonna get completely obliterated in the, in the furnace. But you just kind of answered that question, but because it's, those things will either transform into a, into a, like a glass or a ceramic of some sort after they've been in, in high heat for a while. And that's what creates the barrier. That's correct. So you have you have the active ingredient in the stop offs. Uh, you either have the silicate or you have the boric acid. Uh, those are the active ingredients. The 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 vehicle that the, the paint itself, uh, be it the, the water-based latex or the, the solvent born bead, those do get, indeed get charred off. They get burned off, leaving the active yeah. ingredient behind. Yeah. Do you, did you use, uh, are you able to use those, uh, either of those, the water-based or the solvent-based in uh, vacuum furnaces? Do you have any trouble with uh, off-gassing and things uh, like that? Yeah, a little bit. we got to be careful on the vacuum furnace uh, market because um, you do have the off-gassing and, and, and the combination of the vacuum and the heat at once uh, can cause the can cause the uh, coating to boil and blister. So we do recommend uh, a preheat treatment uh, preheat treatment uh, when doing a vacuum operation. And that uh, the preheat just kind of helps it adhere to the part without the blistering or whatever. I guess that's correct, and it drives off a lot of the residual water or solvent that might be left in the coating. So, Mark, I understand that there's a new there's a maybe a new product that's coming out on the nitriding end of things. Can you tell us a little bit about that and why you're why you're developing that? Yeah, so we've been making a nitriding stop off coating uh, since 1989. We came out with our water based version and we actually had it patented. We were the first uh, on the market with a water based nitriding stop off. And this particular stop off has has been used in the industry uh, for 45 years now. So, uh, but we we got called by a current customer saying, "Hey, do you have a do you have a plasma or ion nitriding stop off?" And at the time, we did not. So we developed a new plasma, aka ion nitriding stop off, and that's uh, a different chemistry, different technology. But that's that's uh, going to be available to the market very very soon. We'll be back in just one minute. Looking for effective and environmentally friendly stop-off paints for your nitriding or carburizing operations? Avion Manufacturing from Medina, Ohio has a wide variety of stop-off paints for an equally wide array of applications including nitriding, nitrocarburizing, and carburizing. With eco-friendly options available and better delivery times than other stop-off coating suppliers, Avion Manufacturing should be your one-stop shop for stop-off paints and coatings. 
explore the range of coatings and other heat treat replacement parts available from Avion Manufacturing by visiting their website at www.avionmfg.com, by calling them at 330-220-2779, or by emailing mark at mark at avionmfg.com. If you need stop off paint, you need Avion Manufacturing www.avionmfg.com. Now back to the episode. Uh, I'm curious about this. Well, you have a sense of, is, is, is it more stop off paints used more? Is it the higher volume in carburizing or nitriding? You know, or is it... uh, by far carburizing. It's probably a by... ton to one carburizing than nitriding for sure. Okay. Gotcha. So in the, in the, what well, you've been doing is 30 some years, I guess, right? The, the... I, I personally have been doing it. It'll be my 30th anniversary in the month of April. Oh, very nice. Well, congratulations. Well, I, mean, I, did, I did work for my father uh, prior to that when he ran Avion for many, many years before that. So, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Well, that's it. Well, congratulations. First off, that's good. Okay. That shows good, good, good longevity, which is good. Yeah. So in that time, is there has there been a, a memorable uh, challenge or things of that sort that you you had to deal with with these stop off paints? Well, one thing I'm particularly proud of, Doug, is um we uh, we always had the water-based carburizing stop-off coating, both varieties, the boric acid-based and the silicate-based. And I had a customer, I had a few customers reach out to me and said, "Hey, you know, we're doing we're doing uh, heat treatment for the aerospace industry or for the automotive industry, and they don't like water-based um, coatings on their parts uh, because you run into corrosion, you run into rust, and so forth and so on." So they asked me to create the solvent born, which we did about. Um, Oh, gosh, probably about seven or eight years ago. Uh, so one thing I'm particularly proud of is um, I got called by uh, the Fiat Chrysler plant in Michigan. They're, they're going by Stellantis now. And uh, unbeknownst to them, their current their current um, stop-off provider at the time changed the formulation. And that was due to the REACH regulations in Europe. And they changed the formulation. And now Stellantis started seeing all these problems. So they reached out to me and said, hey, do you have an equivalent? Uh, we'd like the solvent born stop off. And I was quick to respond saying, oh, by the way, yes, we do. And yes, our product is better because, uh, you know, even though it's solvent born, we created a non-flammable uh, stop off coating. And in addition to being non-flammable, the solvent that we used in the coating is VOC exempt. VOC meaning volatile organic compounds which are basically air pollutants that people want to uh, avoid and when using these stop-off coatings. Can you tell us a little bit about the green label products that you've got and why you're calling them green label? Well, we, we called the green label uh, green label a long time ago. That was our original stop-off, which kicked off our business 50-some uh, years ago. But I think you're referring to our eco green label, which we created about two years ago. Uh, so we've been getting a lot of pressure to remove VOCs from our coatings. Uh, uh, clients like John Deere, Caterpillar, they said, you know, we love your coating, but uh, if you can do anything to get the VOCs out of it, we'd really appreciate it. So that was my, that was one of the biggest goals and one of the biggest uh, accomplishments was uh, to create a coating that didn't have any uh, of these uh, VOC or HAP type solvents in the coating. And, and we have successfully done that. So what, what coating solution should heat treaters be looking at in the near future? I mean, maybe is it the just VOC stuff or the lack of VOC or? Well, yeah, of course. I mean, uh, we're proud to say that um, all of our coatings are uh, virtually VOC free. Uh, we still make the original green label uh, because there are some customers that are not uh, are not real happy to change at the moment. So we still offer that. But uh, we have every single one of our coatings right now uh, have a less than 10 gram per liter VOC threshold. And we're really quite proud of that. But you know, as as you're talking about new new uh, new coatings coming to the market, you know, we're coming out with the the plasma nitriding stop off, but we're also looking into uh, a stop off for uh, salt bath carburizing. We've had a couple people reach out to us just recently saying, "Hey, do you have a coating that uh, we can use to paint on the parts that go into a salt bath um, carburizing operation?" So. Our next big item. I got two two additional questions for you. One has to deal with supply chain issues. Have you guys had any issues with 
being able to deliver quickly or anything of that sort, Absolutely. a la COVID? Sure. Right after COVID, uh, we had trouble getting the main ingredient for the carburizing stop-off coating, which is boric acid. I have currently I have three suppliers that supply that to me. And there was a point in time where uh, none of them could get the material uh, that the uh, the manufacturer of this product was not delivering east of the uh, east of the Mississippi. So I had to I had to do several days of researching and scrounging around, and um, I found a I found a distributor in in California that said, "Yeah, we can get it to you, but you have to buy a full truckload," which we were very happy to do because it kept us in business. <laughs> yeah, you take so, what you can get at that yeah, point, right? Exactly. Yeah. So, but no issues now. Everything's no, no. Everything's pretty much back to normal. I mean, gone are the days where you pick up the phone and get material delivered to you in three days. But uh, most of most of our raw materials get delivered in under two weeks, and we we you know we keep our uh, a pretty adequate inventory of all of our raw materials, so we do not run out of anything. And do you so you you get the raw materials? Do you do your own formulations there? I mean, you actually do, do. The mixing the, the we do. Oh, everything's all done here in house. That's correct. Do you have people on your staff, yourself or others, if a customer calls in with an issue, can you help talk them through it and uh, see if... Absolutely. Absolutely. So I'm the go-to guy here at Avion. Uh, so if anybody has any technical uh, questions, I'm the one that's going to be answering them. Um, and if it's, a, you know, if it's something where I need to come out to the plant, well, I'll get in my car or get on a plane and, and visit that customer uh, if, if, the, if the, the quantity of the... Of the of, of, of it dictates that so yeah okay. yeah sure it's got to be a good business opportunity obviously sure. yeah but i'm sure you can do phone some phone most consultations phone. Yeah. yeah most of it's yeah. on phone in the marketplace are there let's say an ideal client someone who maybe should be considering stop off paints that isn't currently using it i mean is there a is there someone out there that you would say, hey, you know, if you're doing this, maybe you ought to think about stop off paints if you if you're not already doing them? Well, I would certainly still target those that are copper plating, because uh, if you look at the copper plating method, uh, it's number one, it's very expensive. And number two, from what I've been told, it's not very environmentally friendly. You're working with a lot of hazardous ingredients, hazardous waste. Uh, so those are the type of people that I will continue to target uh, for stop-off coatings. Okay. Okay. No, that's good. That's good. Well, Mark, listen, that's that's great. Thanks very much. Hopefully this has been a good primer for people who uh, didn't know what stop-off coatings were or stop-off paint, and uh, hopefully they can get a hold of you if they, if they need something. Appreciate you being with us. Okay. All right. Thank you very much, Doug. I appreciate it myself. We hope you enjoyed listening to today's episode with Mark Ratliff. Give Heat Treat Radio a five-star review or a like on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, SoundCloud, iHeartRadio, Podbean, or the website www.heatreattoday.com forward slash radio. And if you'd like to get in contact with Mark, head over to www.avionmfg.com or reach out to him at mark at avionmfg.com. You can also reach out to me and I can put you in touch. Also, let us know if you want to hear a special topic on the podcast or if you'd like to sponsor a future episode. My email is bethany at heatreattoday.com. Heat Treat Radio would like to thank Avion for sponsoring this episode. Get extremely effective stop-off paints at www.avionmfg.com. This and every other episode of Heat Treat Radio is the sole property of Heat Treat Today and may not be reproduced in part or in whole without advanced written permission from Heat Treat Today. And I'm Bethany Leone. Thank you for listening.